Hi, so here I am um, with another compressor. Um, this one is called the Reckless Diode Compressor. Um, it's an original design and it does it uses a diode bridge for uh, compression. Um, it's a feed forward compressor. Um, it has a full wave level detector and a quite original and unusual dynamic section, which I think makes it both um, transparent from a from a compression point of view but also because of the diode bridge it has you know quite a quite a nice sort of character to it so i'm pretty happy with the overall tone anyway i'm playing through um a squire strap deluxe into a mesa boogie mark 525 on clean um here's a, here's my clean sound uh, dry <laughs> Switch the compressor on, and um, I've got it currently set with the uh, sustain at about one o'clock, the time, which controls both attack and release, at about 11 o'clock, um, and the output level at about 11 o'clock. So it's about it's about the same level as the as the Strat pickup. Um, there's still plenty of, of more level boost available, and it just gives it a nice kind of. It's just you know um, smooth attack a little bit of quack to it pretty transparent pretty clean quite nice actually Pretty nice. Um, if I crank the time control right down, that speeds up both the attack and the release uh, and makes the compressor a little bit more kind of, you know, fast response, basically. turn the time all the way up then both the attack and the release get slower and um, the level also goes up a bit when I do that so I need to adjust it just a little bit a little bit of a tweak on the level there to get it the same uh, and this is a much slower attack much slower release now Return of sustain all the way up to max. There's not a very massive amount of sustain, um, but it's a feed forward design, it's quite smooth though. <laughs> Turn the sustain all the way down, it becomes almost a, li a, le a limiting uh, leveler then, especially if you turn the time down to minimum as well. <laughs> You get a sort of a... doesn't really do anything until you hit it really hard. But it, when you want to crank the sustain over halfway up. So the next pick up. from the um, pickup there's no gate going into this compressor so yeah it's a pretty straightforward fairly clean but characterful sound um, it's a feed forward design it uses dio bridge as the compressor element and it simply has three um, controls sustain time and volume uh, and yeah and time uh, is kind of a um, interesting uh, dynamic circuit so it affects both the attack um, and the release time so this is this is at minimum time <laughs> the um, time at maximum now. So you can see um, with the time
time control up, um, it lets a lot more of the initial attack and transient energy of the compressor through. Um, I really like it. I actually kind of like it with everything in the middle like this. I kind of think that gives it a, um, a fairly nice, one kind of almost leave on sound. It smooths levels out. It gives it a little touch of, of character. Um, enough compression to be noticeable, but not totally to squash the signal. So let me just give you an example for it. Um, on the neck pickup of the strat here, if I'm just kind of going. kind of compressed tone and it works really well. Sort of not probably kind of sound on, on the fourth position there. Yeah, so there we go. I'll um I'll show you the PCB. So here's the uh, front of the PCB with just the controls for sustain, time and volume. Um, there's a separate little snap-off section board which has the three-way um, foot switch um, and the input and output sockets and the uh, active LED on it. It's a true bypass design. So yeah, here's the other side of the board. It's all through hole. Um, there's a single uh, TLO 74 uh, quad-op amp. There's a JFET, a J112 on the input, um, as I said, a diode bridge, um, a negative voltage supply, uh, generating, uh, it uses a TC1044S switch capacitor inverter to generate a minus 8 volt supply from a 9 volt supply. So yeah, that's it.